Hi guys, Albert from Cyphone Technology, Malaysia. Today, I'd like to show you how to set up our new motor driver, latest motor driver. We call it Instant Motor Driver. So before I set up, let me explain all the components I have here. Uh, what I have is just a phone to show you the time I needed. Okay. So let me reset it. Here I have a motor, DC brush motor with just two wires and it's a right angle shaft. I put a wheel on the shaft so that you can see the rotation easily. I have a LiPo battery. Up is quite big capacity but I don't need that kind of capacity. Just need a power supply. This is 11.1 volt typical voltage. And this motor driver can support from 7 to 30 volt 10 amp as I explained earlier 10 amp continuous 13 amp peak so I think that's all let's get started start so I connect the power terminal first uh, so make sure your quality for the power is correct because it doesn't come with polarity protection for this motor driver so double check the connection before you connect to battery or any power source it is being labeled negative and positive so make sure the wire is correct now let me connect to the termin uh, to the motor this is the switch and this is the port so I'm done less than one minute and this is exactly the same as the quick start guide show you have a potentiometer and a switch which come with the motor driver and the motor that you like to control and the battery or power source so let me show you the operation let me just connect to the battery Adjust a bit on the battery so that you can see clearly. Let me move the phone also. Just adjust the cable up. So what I have here, you can start controlling the motor by pressing the switch. Okay, this is clockwise, I think. Counterclockwise. And let me adjust the speed using the potentiometer. It is faster. So let me slow down so that you can see the direction is counterclockwise. And I can change the direction on the fly. Okay, of course the speed also. Okay. And I can also control using the push button on board. So I like to highlight also there's three LED on this board. One is power LED. If the power is correct, uh, you light up and the output LED. Okay? You indicate the output. So that's all. Within less than one minute, the setup is done. You can start controlling your DC brush motor. Hopefully this video is helpful. If you like it, do give us a thumb up, okay? And share the video. Do subscribe to our channel also and bye!